Hello and welcome to the language session 2. Uh, thanks for your likes and feedback. So now we start with the session with a quiz this time. Uh, the quiz is where do we use the simple present tense for the future? The answer to this quiz I will be giving you at the end of the session. So until then think of the answer and you'll get the answer at the end of the session. So let's start our session. Let's start with the first section that is uh, pronunciation. So the first word here it's uh, not uh, monogamy, but it is monogamy. And monogamy means one marriage. In the last session, you had the word polygamy, which meant many marriages. So this is monogamy. The second word is phlegm. You pronounce it as phlegm. The third word, many people say healthy, but it's not healthy, it's healthy. Healthy. Similarly, it's not wealthy, but it is wealthy. Then we move on to the second last word that is not truth but it is truth like you said true you pronounce it as truth and the last word is not political but it is political. Let's see the first sentence he walks fastly. Uh, we hear some people saying this, he walks fastly, but this is incorrect. There is no word as fastly. You can say he walks fast or he walks quickly. So he walks fastly is incorrect. He walks fast. She is a fatty lady. Now fatty does not mean somebody is bulky. If somebody is bulky, so you will say she is a fat lady. You will not say fatty lady. Fatty means like greasy or oily. Like you can say fatty food, you should avoid fatty food, but you cannot call a person fatty. So she is a fat lady. The third sentence, they were sitting in a round circle. You see circle is always round, so you don't need to say round, you cannot have a square circle. So they were sitting in a circle, saying round is redundant. The fourth one. He is senior than me. Whenever we are comparing, uh, we use the comparative degree of adjective and we use the word than. Like he's fatter than me, he's taller than me. But whenever your adjective ends in OR, then you will not use the word then. You'll say, he is senior to me, or he is junior to me, or this cloth is inferior to that cloth. So when the adjective ends in OR, we will not use then, we will use to. The last sentence, I did not buy some books today. Uh, this is also incorrect. Whenever you have a negative sentence, then you don't use the word some. You'll say, I did not buy any books today. So negative sentence, you'll use any. But if you, did, uh, if you remove did not, you can say, I bought some books today. So I bought some books, it's fine, but if it's negative, then I did not buy any books. Uh, the third section, the vocabulary section, uh, today the words would be related to religion. In this section, the first word is sect. And sect, we mean that there are divisions in religion. Uh, like in Christianity, there would be Protestants, there would be Catholics, in Muslim, there would be Shia, Sunnis. So these are the sects of religion. Then we have a word pagan. And pagan means, uh, you see, a believer in religion other than the main religions. So maybe he believes in many gods or uh, um, other than the main religions, so they are called pagans. And there's another word, heathen. Heathen also is similar to pagan. Sin, sin means some wrong act in the eyes of God that we do and we commit a sin. If anybody does a wrong act, so we say he committed a sin. Okay, so the next word is ablution and ablution is like people, uh, you see they take a wash or they, it's a religious thing they do before praying, they clean themselves. So that is called ablution. And the last word for today is omnipresent. 
omnipresent means present everywhere. Like in some religions, they believe that God is present everywhere. So they would say God is omnipresent. So other words related to religion, you will see on the slide and you can make notes of them. Uh, so now we come to the answer of the quiz that I asked you in the beginning of the session. Uh, the question was, where do we use uh, present tense in the future? If your future is confirmed, then you will not use the future tense, you will use the simple present tense. Like you see, if you say the school reopens on 1st August, and if you say the school will reopen on the 1st of August, it has a different meaning. Will reopen? It's unpredictable, not very sure. But if you are sure, a decision has been taken, so then you'll say the school reopens on the 1st August. I'll give you another example. If it's the 29th of Ramzan, uh, so you say Eid may be tomorrow. But if it's the 30th of Ramzan, so you'll say Eid is tomorrow. So we are using the simple present tense for the future. Thank you and see you in the next session.